What's up YouTube? Just wanted to share with you I got a new charger. Uh, sorry for the noise. I got my wife washing clothes in the background and uh, my uh, 3D printer printing over here. So, um, But this is the new ISDT. Uh, I think it's it's fairly new. Um, charger, the K4 Smart Charger. Um, the reason why I got this is because I wanted an all-in-one um, AC DC, this is AC DC, but I wanted an AC one for the house um, that does high amps. For I mean, today's batteries are you know 5,000, 8,000, even 10,000 milliamps. And uh, the other, my old charger was it took up a lot of room because I had a big separate power supply and then the charger um, to get high amp current. So I got this. Um, it looks cool. ISDT is making some great stuff, but uh, let's check it out. Come with some stickers. Oh, it has a uh, screen protector pretty cool but yeah this is it right here this is the AC and you can do the DC here but what I like about this is AC I, th I believe you could still get uh, 20 amp charging but uh, we'll find out soon and I don't believe this comes with any charging cables or anything um, for charging so it just has the AC power cord and that's all you get. So for me, it's good because, like I said, I have a charger here for the house it's that I don't take out to the field or the track. So I already have all the um, charging ports and the balance ports. This one doesn't use the four millimeter bullets. These use XT60s, so you'd have to get um, an adapter from XT60. Um, so let's just say for your uh, big bashers that have your XT90s or EC5s, um, I got these XT90 to XT60 connectors. So my setup's gonna run like that. And then I have some balance ports for my other setup. I mean, you could go directly into there if you want, but some of those balance leads are pretty short. So I'm gonna do this number here. There it is, it's pretty, I mean, it's not too bad as far as space. Um, I like it. Let's uh, get this plugged in and take a look at the display. So there it is, all plugged in. Very nice color screen. So this one does all the way up to 8S, um, which a lot of chargers um, won't go up to 8S. Um, so just uh, future proofing myself. Um, so I'll do, uh, actually we'll go three, so I have a couple of three cells here and then the current right there 20 amps lipo charge you can do discharge all that i'm not going to go through all the functions um it's pretty much standard So this battery is only rated for a 1C charge rate, but I do have a, a, a Gen Z's bashing um, battery here. And this one can do, I believe, 8C. So plenty of time, plenty of, um,
So there you go, AC 20 amps. So I'm happy. Let's see if it'll do two channel at 20 amps. All right, so I got the charger running. Got two 3S lipos here. These are 8,000 milliamps. I did set the charger for 20 amps on each side. But it looks like it only it only put out like maybe 30 amp, 31 amps, 32 amps total. So I'm unable to get 20 amps per side. So on AC power, I don't think it'll do it. Well, it's not doing it, I should say. All right, guys. It's the ISDT K4 smart charger, AC DC. So on AC, not bad. You get 30 amps. I probably I could probably set it to 15 amps each side. And uh, actually, let's try that. See if I maybe do 16 amps. I'm gonna set the 16 amps each side. We got 59 on the left. 16. So almost 16 each side. So a great value, you get 16 amps each side for 229 bucks, but wish it did 20. Alright guys, thanks for watching.